Alright friends, today we're going to draw Benjamin Franklin. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along with us. You need a marker, something to draw with, some paper, and... Something to color with. Alright, let's start. <laughs> we're first going to draw his eyes. We're going to draw two circles. And I'm going to draw them about this size. And leave a little space in between. Good. And then one more. Yeah. Now we're going to draw smaller circles inside. And I'm drawing them towards the top and to the right. Now this is for the highlight to make his eyes look shiny. Let's color in the big circle, but leave the little ones white. Remember to pause the video if you need extra time. Now let's draw his glasses. And he invented some special glasses. What were they called? Bifocals. Bifocals. So you could see far away, but then also you could look down and read. All right, let's try. Let's like try. if there was a picture of an elephant and you had to read about the elephant, you're like, oh, that's a great elephant. <laughs> now I have to read about it. Oh, elephants have big trunks <laughs> that have no muscles in them. I, I think they do have muscles in them. No, they don't have bones in them, sorry. Oh, bones. <laughs> Let's draw some glasses. All right, we're gonna draw a circle that goes around each eye. You're crazy. <laughs> but that's why I like draw drawing with you. <laughs> you always make me laugh. Now, let's draw another circle around the other one. And because they're bifocals, let's draw a, let's draw a line that goes across the bottom of each of those, yeah. Circles. Okay, now let's draw let's draw a curve that goes in between like this. This is to hold the glasses together. <laughs> and then we could also draw a nose. I'm gonna draw a little oval. And we can also draw his smile. Alright, now let's draw his head. We're gonna start right here. We're gonna draw a big U shape. So I'm gonna come down like this. We're gonna come around and then back up on the other side. Yeah. Good job. Now, <laughs> now over oh, here. Chubby. No, I like it. It's perfect. Now we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes down on both sides. So part of his ears are covered up because he had longer hair. Short on top, but long in the back. <laughs> we're going to draw a curve for the bottom of his ear on both sides. Yeah. Now let's draw. Let's draw another curve that comes in like this. We're going to draw a curve that comes in and up. And we'll do the same thing over here on this side. In and up. All right, now we can draw another curve that's going to connect these two lines. And I'm going to turn my paper sideways so it's a little easier to draw. But we're going to draw the top of his head. I like to draw over here so that I can see my yeah. markers. Yeah, I did that too. I, I drew halfway and then I couldn't see where I was going, so I came back and finished the yes. rest of the line. Yeah, that's a good way to draw. Mm -hmm. All right, <laughs> let's draw his body. Now we're going to draw two diagonal lines. We're going to draw one coming out of his chin going this direction, and we're going to draw another one coming in this direction. Yeah. Now right here at the top, let's draw another curve. This is for his collar. And then we're going to draw his jacket. So we'll start here and we're going to draw a curve that connects to the outside. And we'll do the same thing over here on the right side. Connect. Now on his shirt, he had little ruffles on the front. So let's draw a wiggly line right here. We're going to draw W and I'm going to draw another one underneath that one wiggly line and then we could draw his waist his pants now let's draw his legs we're gonna start here and we're gonna come down just a short line come down on this side also then in between let's draw an upside down V so we'll go up and back down then connect his legs at the bottom What should we draw next? His feet. Yeah, let's draw his shoes. We're going to draw a curve that comes out, around, and back in. Looks like a sideways U. And we'll do the same thing over here. Out, and then back in. Or like a little raindrop shape. Yeah, it does look like a raindrop. Now let's draw the lines for his pants. 
And sometimes they wore short pants. So I'm gonna draw two lines on this leg and we'll draw two lines over here. <laughs> okay. like that. Yeah, there, there you go, go. good. <laughs> now let's draw his arms. We're gonna draw a diagonal line, it comes down, and then right at the end, curve in. And we'll do the same thing over here. Down, and then right at the end, curve in. Oh, I like your arms. Now let's draw his jacket, and also his shirt underneath his jacket. So two lines, and then the same thing over here on his wrist. All right, Hadley, we're missing his cool hair. Let's draw, let's draw a U-shape that goes over the top of his head. So we're gonna draw an upside down U-shape, goes over like this, around, and then back down over here. Now remember how I said he had short hair on top, or it was just combed backwards, but we're gonna draw a wavy line, and we're gonna come down, and then connect to his arm. We'll do the same thing over here. Wavy line, connect down to the arm. All right, let's give him eyebrows. Let's draw a curve that goes over his eye, and then we can draw a short line up and then connect to the outside. And let's repeat that same step over here. Curve, short line up, and then connect to the outside. All right, we could also give him little wrinkles on his forehead because he we're drawing him a little older. So let's draw two lines on his forehead. All right, Hadley. Now, he looks like Ben Franklin, but it, we could draw something else so that we really know that it's ben, Benjamin Franklin. What should we draw? The kite. Oh, kite with the key? Yes. Okay, <laughs> let's start by drawing the string that's coming up from his hand. I'm going to draw a wavy, wiggly line that comes up like that. Whoa, I like how you're drawing that. <laughs> That's a really tall kite. Now, I'm going to draw at the end, I'm going to draw a plus. So I'm going to draw a really long line. And you could actually draw your kite going a different direction. So you could draw that long line going this way if you want. Then I'm going to draw a shorter line going across. It looks like a plus or an X. You can draw, draw it going the other direction. So I'll give you two points like that. You're, so I'm drawing it tipped this way and you're drawing yours tipped the other way. Okay, now let's connect the top two lines on each side. So those are short and then we're gonna draw longer diagonal lines to connect down to the bottom. Good, now we can draw the tail coming down from the kite. So I'm gonna draw another wavy line like that, and you can, yeah, draw it on the other side. All right, now, on the tail of the kite, let's do a little bows. So I'm gonna draw an X that goes across the tail. Yep, there you go, and then connect the outside of the X. Okay, repeat that step, and let's add a few more going down the tail. Okay. Remember to pause the video when we fast forward so that you can take time to draw that step. Now, what are we missing on the kite? The key. The key. Let's just draw a circle right down here at the bottom. It, I can't remember, I think it might have been closer to the top or it was down here at the bottom, but let's just draw it right here. So I'm gonna draw a line coming out. <laughs> and then right at the end, let's draw a square or rectangle shape. All right, we did it, Hadley, and I love your Benjamin Franklin. He looks really cool, and we still need to color him. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Great job, Hadley. I love how Benjamin Franklin turned out all colored in. Do you think he looks better colored? Yeah. yeah, I think so too. And I hope you guys at home are going to pause the video to take time to color your drawings also. Now, what else could our art friends add to this drawing to make it look even better? You can draw the lightning hitting the key. Oh, yeah. That would be awesome. <laughs> that would be also very scary. <laughs> We hope you had a lot of fun drawing Benjamin Franklin. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, parents and teachers, join our monthly membership and download our app. You can watch all of our art lessons in a safe, distraction-free environment. In the app, you can also download lessons to watch without any Wi-Fi connection. Just visit artforkidshub.tv to join.